Guys, I bring you a new world video showcasing all known legendary grey axes in the game. I will mention though a lot of these haven't been obtained yet as well as some of the images you will see today will be placeholder pictures so when you do get these drop eventually in the game they will look different. But in terms of the weapon stats etc etc it's all here so let's go. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. Okay, so today guys, I'm showcasing all known legendary great axes in the game and how they are obtained. Now, like I said, some of these images are placeholder images and also some of these weapons haven't been found yet. That's where I'm hoping some of you guys may be able to help me. Okay, so let's get into it. First up, we have the Weapon Master's Chosen. So this is a legendary that drops exclusively from the Lazarus Instrumentality Expedition boss known as Scylla. So you want to try and get this thing? That's where you gotta go farm. Next up guys, we have the Brightborn Balax. This is a legend that is an exclusive drop to an enemy known as Oluvia Mar, the caretaker, who is within the Garden of the Genesis expedition. So you wanna go farm the Brightborn Balax? This is a dude you need to go and hunt. Next up guys, we have the Enforcer's Balax. So this legendary is an outpost rush tier five cash chest reward. So obviously you need to be a level 60 to take part in these PvP battleground style 20v20 mods. Once you do, this has a chance of dropping from the end chest. Next up guys, we have the Delia of Sineb. I think that's pronounced wrong, but who cares? So this weapon here is a world drop across the board, which I believe is added into the loot pool once you get around that level 40 mark. So yes guys, look out for this once you are past a level 40. Next up guys, we have the Axe of the Final War. So this weapon here is also a world drop. Again, I believe it's added into the loot pool from various different sources. Once you hit around the level 40, I do believe. Next up guys, we have the Dark Sky. So this is a legendary that you have to craft at the weapon smithing. Obviously the right materials and levels are needed here. So it requires a station of a blacksmith tier 5, it requires a weapon smithing level of a 200, trade skill XP needs to be 7440 and territory standing 144. Okay so the final two weapons here, we have no idea where these are obtained as of me making this video. First up guys we have the last stand. And lastly, the Axe of the Abomination. Now these, like I said, we don't know where these drop from, but if you do, please let me know down below and I'll edit the video description. But yes guys, there we have it. All known legendary great axes in New World. If you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next. One.